I'm the nicest person in the world. Get your off this live. A fake guru just went on Facebook Live yelling at her victims. Girl, you hush, what the f is you on here? Somebody delete this whole f Go pay your phone bill. It's alleged these victims lost millions of dollars, and this is how she responded during an epic live stream rant. You probably doing full hey, stamp fraud that, right mother that hole. Oh, you probably on section eight. Her threats got worse and worse and worse until she yelled something you wouldn't believe. Many Jacksonville investors are accusing Janae White of fraud. Well-known Jacksonville entrepreneur accused of fraud, prompting her investors to file lawsuits with claims of bad business practices by her investors. Let's all come together and analyze what went wrong and what her punishment should be. She gained popularity on social media and was able to receive a glowing testimonial from a familiar face. Shout out to Queen Janae White who owns over 50 Airbnbs, uh, owns over eight businesses and a nonprofit queen. If there's one person I can trust with real estate investing tips, it's con man Jay. At least Janae paying for that Instagram shout out allowed Jay to pay his mortgage that month. Just kidding, that was still the Tulsa real estate fund. She is known for her credit repair and credit building services. Even going so far as to consider herself the credit goat, utilizing the goat symbol on every marketing piece. Similar to the animal, Janae is one misstep away from a less than desirable outcome. After the first month, whenever I got the profit loss statement, I knew something was wrong. This investor named Buddy was one of the biggest investors in Janae's Airbnb opportunity and helped bring immediate attention to the scam. You never spend money you can't afford to lose. Don't give me no fucking money. Didn't want it back. That ain't how this shit works. Janae offered an opportunity to make a lot of money with an Airbnb investment. In the promo she posted to her Instagram page, she posted the price as $13,000. You got an Airbnb, you keep talking about, oh, it's doing good. Bitch, the economy not doing good. I ain't motherfucking Jesus. She isn't Jesus because instead of choosing apostles, she'll need to choose attorneys. The promotion sounded lucrative as the investment was only $13,000 and you'd make passive income from a turnkey investment. Then one person told myself, oh, well, I only had $15,000 in my account. I took $13,000 about two Airbnbs. Why the f would you spend your last dollar on a fucking Airbnb? In pretty blatant victim blaming, Janae seems to have zero interest in taking responsibility for being a fraud. Instead of apologizing for accepting investment money and spending it on her mentorship with Cesar Pena, she exploded at the victims during this 30 minute live stream. Apartment 1316. Here's another one. Sherelle posted in the Facebook group that she found multiple contracts for the same unit. Signing contracts with investors for the same apartment unit as part of an investment opportunity is pretty blatant fraud. This next clip is Janae's preparation for her opening statement standing in front of a judge and jury. And they don't even know. Y'all trying to make me look bad, but you're making yourself look bad. Janae was offering a partnership in Airbnb arbitrage. As our trustworthy real estate investment advisor, Jay Morrison, pointed out, Janae claimed to own 50 Airbnbs. People were influenced into thinking she was legitimate and knew what she was doing. As it turns out, Janae was as effective at managing people's investment as she is at PR damage control. Anybody who make a post about me, girl, fuck you. I stood you up because I had some better to do. Losing money to fake gurus will lead to many problems, one of which could be your mental health. Thanks to today's sponsor, BetterHelp, we all can have access to a therapist who can provide us with helpful, unbiased advice. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to be a support system while you're in need. They offer access to over 30,000 therapists, allowing you to find the best match for your needs. Starting therapy is challenging, with many finding it difficult to connect with someone in their area or with the experience of face-to-face -face communication. Since everyone has a different need, BetterHelp provides a questionnaire in order for them to assess how to best match you with a therapist. Then, you can talk to that therapist however you feel comfortable, video chat, phone call, or even just messaging. And if you need to switch therapists for whatever reason, BetterHelp makes it easy to switch with no cost or worry. If you think therapy is for you, you can join the over 4 million people who have used BetterHelp by clicking the link in the description or by going to betterhelp.com slash Spencer Cornelia. Using my link will give you 10% off your first month so you can begin the process of connecting with a therapist today. That's betterhelp.com slash Spencer Cornelia. Check it out today. Airbnb arbitrage is one of the recent flashy investment opportunities that has been promoted on social media in the past couple years. Is it a scam? No. Is it a great investment? only if you know what you're doing. People like Janae will agree to rent an apartment unit from an owner at the market rate. They'll furnish the unit and then post it on Airbnb. Because short-term rates are higher with enough occupancy, you can make more money on Airbnb each month. The spread is your profit. 
It can quickly become a scam though when people like Janae are operators because they aren't experienced enough to understand the risks associated with this investment. Investors gave her around $10,000 up front, but it went straight to her pockets. After cleaning fees, operating expenses, maintenance, and Airbnb's cut, you might cash flow a few hundred dollars per month if it's performing. In order to recoup the $10,000 investment, it'll take someone years. And you don't own the units, so you aren't paying down a mortgage. And if the owner ever wants to enforce the HOA rules, or if your city outright bans short-term rentals, then your business is done overnight. And then you add the risk of giving money to someone like Janae, the eviction goat, and the investment quickly becomes a scam when every unit is cash flow negative, and the investors are losing money every single month. The promo makes it look like you'll own a unit in a great apartment complex that will cash flow on Airbnb. The low investment amount made it more affordable for those that might not be able to afford to buy property on their own or just want to hand off the management to the alleged expert. Instead, their investment was coincidentally Janae's wink wink personal spending budget. If you came to me for an Airbnb, what the fuck make you think that money ain't spent? So if I ain't spend the money and you think the money just sitting in my account, then you participated in the scam. Many victims have pointed out that they didn't receive any profit from their Airbnb. Even worse, many had monthly losses, meaning they paid Janae up front and then kept paying her month after month after month because the property was underperforming. And it ain't a bitch in, in motherfucking this, this world that's gonna knock me the fuck off my horse. Y'all gotta come harder than that. So if you gonna motherfucking sue, bitch motherfucking sue. Get, why the fuck is you on Facebook? Because I ain't never seen a bitch who gonna motherfucking sue be on Facebook. This is ironic coming from someone who is now fighting numerous evictions and lawsuits. The news for Jacksonville team began reporting on her evictions, but it's much worse than they initially thought. Let's see how she responded. I'll be on the mother app tomorrow, cause one thing a bitch ain't gonna do, a bitch ain't gonna fuck with me. A bitch ain't gonna fuck with me. The first eviction we'll check out is for a unit in Fusion Rental Community. The defendant is Janae White and her company Luigi's Concrete and More. I don't even think Mario could save this princess. One thing that seemed apparent in my research of Janae is that she likes to play business but not run a successful business. My business was doing numbers. I, I had Airbnbs. Okay, big, and so what? And, and I bet you don't like it. Show your mother an investment that only performs for a couple of months and then you lose it isn't a good investment. It's equivalent to any action-packed summer blockbuster movie that might have one good scene but overall is a terrible movie. In both scenarios, you can't turn your head away from the train wreck. Janae was unable to pay rent of $2,184 and, despite the three-day notice, she was unable to pay the amount owed or return the property back to the owner. The second eviction is from the Galleria Club rental community. She was unable to pay rent of $2,149 for this rental apartment. Got me f***ed up. Tell my son, oh, she lying and saying the economy doing bad. Bitch, what country are you in, bitch? The economy is doing bad. That's why all them motherfuckers over there with you. Because they listen to what the f*** your dumb ass got to say because they broke with you. It's ironic the eviction goat is calling her victims broke considering her being a fake guru is now on public record. The problem with fake gurus like Janae is that her little investment scheme might have worked for a few months, but it can't withstand changes to macroeconomics. The vacation rental platform saw a close to 50% decline in revenues per listing last month in some cities compared to the same period the previous year according to data from All the Rooms. The Airbnb collapse is one of the most misguided narratives on social media lately, but there is Plenty of truth to people having to pivot out of their Airbnb arbitrage business for various reasons. Janae likely made a few hundred bucks renting out an apartment in these nice communities and posting them on Airbnb and then offered this opportunity to the public. I have helped a lot of people make money. Come with me. And that's business and that life. Sometimes it work out, sometimes it don't work out. She's exactly right. However, the difference is once you start accepting money from other people based on expertise you claim to have. Here's a contract for the investor to give her $7,000 for a turnkey Airbnb. The investor will pay $2,099 per month to handle rent and utilities. The problem is that Airbnb arbitrage was hot for a minute and people can make $1,000 a month with this type of business, but... The problem is that it was a terrible business model because it wasn't capable of handling any market fluctuations and you don't own the property. Now these followers of hers who trusted her are out their money and she's showing no interest in helping them recoup their investment, even going so far as to say they're scamming her. I, I know I ain't no scam, but this is what they try to do. They try to bully people on this internet and that's the joke, that's the game they play. Oh, if you don't give me my money back, I'ma call you a scam. Not you scamming me. 
Well, you, you came and got service from me. I ain't knock on your door. I didn't knock on your door. I didn't ask you when you came to me. You, I don't give a fuck if it was a dollar. I don't give a fuck if it was, if it was a million dollars. You paid me. We know she wasn't getting paid a million dollars because if she was, she wouldn't have been evicted from this next apartment community. Palm Bay Club Unit number 1421 filed a complaint for eviction in October 2023. She was unable to pay $1,974 in rent. That may seem like a lot in rent, but she was supposed to be the Airbnb queen who owned, not rented, owned 50 Airbnbs after allegedly being homeless. Adding even more fuel to the fire burning down her empire, she had a little help from government daddy in Washington, D.C. Her company, Luigi's Concrete & More, received a PPP loan for $25,000 in May 2020. Additionally, a Janae White Who Pours Concrete Foundation received a PPP loan in the amount of $20,833 in March 2021. So many people are talking, Janae, why you give people your number? Why you, why you so accessible? You the boss. You the one that made millions of dollars. Aliqua Rental Community is the next apartment complex that would like access to some of that millions of dollars. They filed a complaint for eviction on her unit in October as well. This must have been a nicer unit because the rent was nearly $2,600 per month. Nah, I've been being quiet because we're going to handle this shit and we're going to handle this shit legally. Luxor Club Rental Community handled this legally as they filed a complaint for eviction against Janae and her company. They allege she didn't pay $1,569 in rent. As a boss, y'all got me f***ed up. I found another five complaints for eviction against Janae and her concrete business, totaling up to 10 evictions. I don't got no mother eviction, eviction from where? That's the wrong Janae White. Y'all so stupid. Didn't y'all say some stupid ass yeah, the eviction goat definitely earned her new nickname. I'm now wondering if she only ever had 10 Airbnbs and not the 50 that was marketed on social media. When people in her live stream were confronting her about her evictions, here is what she had to say. That's the wrong Janae White. I don't even have an Airbnb at that address. They so f***ing stupid and y'all swear y'all know business. But that's dumb. If you know so much about business and Airbnb, go get your own Airbnb. Why the f***? Why was you coming to me? Why was you bothering me and my business? One of the members of the Facebook group alleges that six different people had the same contract for Fusion Apartment Community Unit 2144. If that's the case, then you have pretty blatant fraud. This will be pretty easy to prove in court as the victims all have signed contracts all for the same properties. This is exactly what Cesar Pena did. Ironically, someone posted an image of the three of them in the same photo closing on a property. I got a partnership with Mercedes Benz. I got come on, investigate it. Your baby daddy probably in jail. Why your credit bad? Investigate that. Do the fraud. Pay your bills. Janae fooled everyone into thinking she was a very successful entrepreneur and investor by saying stuff like having a partnership with Mercedes. That doesn't really mean much as it was probably just a small affiliate commission when referred customers bought a car. Speaking of partnerships, she teamed up with an influencer named Woe Vicky for a few posts. What's up, y'all? Y'all go hit up Jay White if you need anything related to credit. She just got my credit score in the 900. So don't play with it, go hit her up. Janae was so good with her services that she created a new credit score limit. There was one customer that didn't have as much success, which she had a message specifically for them. Armani Ashley, get your ass off my motherfucking live. You and that motherfucking group time, you lost $400. I got a fucking office that you could have came to if you had a problem. I have a customer service number, so get your dumb ass off my live and you're not getting no refund. Starting in mid-2022, I think we saw the fake guru crash. These people claim to be experts, but their successes were small and short-term, so the investment opportunities they offered quickly evaporated into nothing. And there are dozens of others in Jacksonville that tell me they've also lost money investing with Janae White. Paying $7,000 for someone to run an Airbnb that you're renting is an example. E-commerce automation, crypto, NFTs, Turo, Airbnb arbitrage. The next gold rush will be someone selling AI automation or OnlyFans automation of some kind. These are all short-term opportunities that are only available during a specific market and often gone as soon as they are offered to the public as investments. This victim claims she lost over $30,000 in Janae's scam. She alleges Janae was to provide business coaching and consulting and alleges there was a breach of contract. So if you got mother sue, bitch mother sue. Janae must have talked these lawsuits into existence because a new one is being filed every month. She was sued by Absolute Resolutions for alleged failure to pay her $7,000 credit card balance. This was someone who was taking significant amounts of money from investors who trusted her and her supposed expertise, and when they wanted their money back after realizing they were scammed, here's how she responded. I'm still gonna do business all over the country. Ain't nobody getting a refund. If you feel like I owe you a refund, take me to court. 
It sounds like the apartment community has already beat them to it. Multiple times during this live stream, she made it crystal clear that her victims would not be getting any refunds. Then they keep trying to throw out big numbers to get y'all riled up. This is a, oh, she running a Ponzi scheme. Bitch, you don't even know what a motherfucking Ponzi scheme is. Then this is one or other hating asshole who ain't never had no Airbnb. Oh, Fort Family ain't been doing Airbnb since this year. Bitch, that's what they told your broke ass. <laughs> Why would you know? You ain't got no Airbnb. There's enough evidence pointing to her Airbnb investment as a fraud scheme. It's not a Ponzi because no one was receiving any profits. It appears like she took their money to support her lifestyle and the money was gone when they wanted a refund. But you making posts, you doing the most, you would never get your money back. I don't give a f She took money from plenty of investors, some with health concerns, hoping to earn some monthly passive income and has shown no interest in paying them back. The problem I have with investments like this is the startup investment is just money in Janae's pocket. She could easily pay back the consulting fee since there weren't any startup costs, but the entire scheme reeks of fraud. The final lawsuit for today is Ground Floor Properties' complaint for commercial foreclosure against Janae and her company. The property is located at 135 West 23rd Street in Jacksonville, Florida. Here's the property on Zillow. It states they are in pre-foreclosure. I found the property on Batch Leads to confirm ownership by Janae's company, Luigi's Concrete and More, and Ground Floor has the loan. It it appears that she owes the full amount of $82,850, which is how much her loan was originated for. This was a hard money loan and Janae was unable to pay the monthly interest only payments while renovating the property. On May 31, 2022, Janae posted this on Facebook about one of her investors buying her first investment property. That same victim recently posted this in the Facebook group that her house is in a terrible condition. Apparently it needs a new foundation, but the contractor put a new roof on the house. Unfortunately, Janae's incompetence has led to numerous victims losing a significant significant amount of money by investing with her. All victims should join this Facebook group as they'll be able to assist you. They were a huge help in making this video. But why you trying to talk to the CEO anyway? I'm the CEO of a company. Did Jeff Bezos stand your ass up when you ordered a package from Amazon? Did you get to talk to Jeff Bezos? I be too nice and I'm too nice and I'm too giving because I wasn't supposed to be talking to y'all. Calling yourself a CEO of a fraudulent Airbnb investment business and including Jeff Bezos in the same sentence as you is the perfect way to describe fake gurus in 2023. Thanks for watching.